UV maps are used to coordinate other maps like the color of the object, for example. Basically, it tells on the textures how they should wrap the surface of the mesh. It gives them the direction. A UV map is represented by seams which separate different parts of the texture. The way the seams form the UV map is crucial for textures which were not painted or created on the object directly. So random textures can hardly match the UV map, but the UV map could be adjusted for certain textures. If you do texture painting, it actually doesn't matter what your UV map looks like, except you want to edit your image after you created it. Do some paint over, for example. If it puts a random texture onto the mesh, it might be stretched or squeezed in some areas. UV maps are necessary for baking normal maps. In this series, we are painting our mesh directly, so our UV map can be anything, but still, we'll keep it simple. Before we create a UV map and normal map for our low poly column, we have to adjust its shape to the high poly mesh. We also need to create a seam for the UV map. Hide the high poly mesh and unhide the low poly. Go to Edit Mode and select the loop you want to become a seam. Switch to Edge Select and open the context menu. Choose Mark Seam. Now this red line represents a seam of the UV map. Unhide the high poly. Select the low poly and add shrink wrap modifier. Choose the high poly as the target. Basically, this modifier adjusts the shape of the mesh to the shape of another one. Let's add some loop cuts to make a more accurate shape. When you are good with the result, hit Apply. Select Low Poly and go to Edit Mode. Press A to select the whole mesh. Press U to open the context menu. Select and wrap. Now we're ready to bake our normal map. 